In this last video, you'll learn what happens with your report when you file it in the KSAR system. I'm often asked, will I get into trouble if I report my own mistake? The short answer is no. As long as the report does not involve a criminal act or an intentional violation of an aviation regulation, your report will not be used against you. And if you are worried about that, feel free to submit your report anonymously. Remember, this system relies on you reporting safety concerns, and we recognize that the most important reports oftentimes comes from students and staff describing their own errors. Now, let's get back to what happens when you submit a report. I review every single report right when you submit it, and I assign it to two members of our safety committee. As you can see, this committee is made up of various stakeholders in the Kalamazoo and Battle Creek airports. It includes pilots, mechanics, professors, students, air traffic controllers, and even pilot instructors. Each member has agreed to keep the committee's work anonymous or a secret, and we meet every other week to discuss every single KSARS report that comes into the system. At these meetings, we collectively decide what safety concerns are involved in each report and we decide if there are any causes to that safety concern. We call that second question the causal factor. Now, you might wonder how you see what the safety committee did with the report that you submitted. After each safety committee meeting, we produce minutes, and you can look on the KSAR system to find those committee meeting minutes, including the causal factor for each report. Now I recommend you check these meeting minutes out regularly to see what happened to your report. But more importantly, it's a good way to learn from all the safety reports your fellow students and staff have submitted. Of course, remember, you'll see that the committee's minutes do not include identifying information for any report. So rest assured, we will not publicly identify you or anyone else in the summary of any report. But I will tell you, sometimes I do reach out individually to students and staff and thank them for submitting valuable KSARS reports. We're also working on a separate link for the KSARS system that will launch an interactive site that you can move through the KSAR summaries more seamlessly. I'll tell you, we may even have an app for that very soon. Now that you understand how the KSARS system works, I challenge each and every one of you to take an active role in our safety culture here at the College of Aviation. I hope you'll find the KSAR system makes that very easy. And remember, the system is made to support everyone, but it relies individually on you reporting safety concerns. Working together, I'm confident we can keep our college as safe as possible. So thanks for listening. And remember, fly safe, fly smart, and go Broncos.